Senator Perris. Uh, thank you, Mr Deputy President. I uh, rise tonight to congratulate the Australian hockey on their recent incredible success at the World Cup, and, uh, which was actually held in Netherlands early on this month. Um, the Hockey uh, World Cup final um, consisted of both the Australian teams, the, the Kookaburras and the Hockey Roos. Unfortunately, the Hockey Roos went down 2-0 in the final against the Dutch, and the Kookaburras got up 6-1. Um, which was a huge victory given um, and they retained uh, the, the World Cup, um, winning back-to-back -back victories. And it was a huge effort for also the Hockey Roos, given that they went into the World Cup uh, ranked number five in the world. Uh, Mr Deputy President, many people talk um, with success in sports to the Northern Territory with AFL football. Uh, that is true. However, the, um, the great amount of champions that have come out of the Northern Territory is uh, around hockey. Um, hockey in the Northern Territory has a very long and distinguished history from Alice Springs. No, it is, it is hockey, I'll get to that. Null and Boy, Catherine, Darwin, and the game has been uh, rightly so enjoyed throughout the whole of the Territory. The game of hockey, um, Mr Deputy President, uh, is a great community enjoyment within the whole of the Northern Territory and it's uh, been great for the individual achievements far and beyond any expectations held by a hockey community in the Northern Territory. As a sport for girls and boys, men and women, hockey is a great family sport and uh, I know that for a fact given I uh, started playing hockey when I was four years old and both my parents and all of my family played. And uh, I can remember going back to the old Alawa hockey fields um, back at Lakeside Drive um, and waking up to those uh, cold, dry season mornings. Um, the friendships that, that I've made through the sport have been long and lasting, and I still certainly catch up with my hockey teammates uh, from my junior playing years and quite often reminisce about those great times that we had playing this fantastic sport. Um, I was once told by one of my Australian coaches that you won't make a lot of money playing sport, however you will make a lot of lifelong friendships, and this is very true. Going back, um, Senator Farrell, you talk about the achievements of Territorians. Okay, so I was the first in 96 Atlanta Olympics. Stephen Holt followed, the, and he got a bronze medal at the Sydney Olympics. Mark Hickman, gold of the 2004. Olympics in Athens, Desi Abbott, bronze 2008, Beijing, his cousin Joel Carroll, bronze 2012 in London. So um, as I mentioned earlier, the, the re recent successes of the, uh, the, the Kookaburras, um, the Northern Territory was represented by 21-year-old Jeremy Hayward. Jeremy was also named as the young player of the tournament, and I congratulate Jeremy on a fantastic achievement. He was also voted the best young player at the world, a huge achievement. Um, to my fellow hockey roos, congratulations as well, Adam Commons um, and your staff. Um, the recent performances of these demonstrate the commitment um, of hockey at a world-class level. Um, Mr Deputy President, I haven't got long, but I, I want to conclude and just also pass my con personal congratulations to a, an old friend and a mentor of mine, Australian sporting icon and former coach, um, Dr Rick Charlesworth, who was also a federal MP uh, for the Labor Party from 1983 to 93. Charlesworth once said um, that he retired because he never got it, became a minister. But they often say, Mr Deputy President, when one door closes, another opens. And thank God the door that closed opened and he became my coach for the Hockey Roos. Mr Charlesworth played 47 first-class matches for Western Australia, 2,327 runs, four Sheffield uh, Shield winning teams. He, went, he was a representative of five Olympic Games, won silver at the 1976 Montreal Olympics. He won a World Cup gold medal at the 86. He retired um, from hockey at the 88 Seoul Olympics, played 227 games for Australia, and a bit of an overachiever, but uh, he did five of those years <laughs> playing sport for Australia whilst he was an MP. Um, I would want to personally thank Rick Charlesworth for his commitment to Australian hockey, his love, dedication and commitment, and his philosophy of the game. And I'm sure I speak for all Australians that have been coached, mentored, and inspired by him. I thank you, Rick Charlesworth, for the three mantras you taught me in my life and that I still carry with me every day. And they are, acting, uh, Mr Deputy President, a poco a poco, which is Spanish for little by little, you can achieve big things. Expect the unexpected and take nothing for granted. Um, wise words from a legendary Australian. I wish you well, um, Dr Rick Charlesworth, wherever your journey in life leads you.
Thank you, Senator Paris. Uh, 